showed tonight. Uh, what was the message in the, in the locker room coming out tonight uh, with you guys being able to get that done? Um, just get back to what we do, you know. Um, that's that, that's our um, identity. That's playing t- our, our toughen teams and like you know, it's playing with a relentless effort and you know, um, motor, you know. And today, we, I feel like we, we got back to that. Um, everybody's buying and everybody's you know, contributing contributing right now. And we just want to keep building. Can you talk about that contribution? Jacob Grandison obviously yeah. knocked down some threes. You guys never lost faith in him. How, how nice is it for a big man to see uh, some of his wing players knock down their shots to open things up for you? I'm really happy for him, man. You know, Jacob, like the other day when we, we, we lost the Rutgers, um, he got back to the gym and we got back really late. And, you know, when I FaceTimed them because I had some food for him, um, he was in the gym shooting, you know, at whatever, 1 o'clock it was, you know. And to see him, you know, knock those down, he really d- deserves it. Um, with the way he plays, he plays really hard, and he works on his game um, a lot, you know, so he really deserves that. Kofi, what is it? Uh, what? Yeah, definitely. Whenever my guards are shooting and they're hitting, they're hot, um, it really opens up a lot to me, and, you know, that's... The I got to show them, like, when I got the first look and I think about the Jake and hit that shot, you know, I got to make sure that they know that I appreciate them whenever they, whenever the teams double down and, you know, to, on the rest of them, basically. So, it's really good when they shoot the ball well. What is it about the Rutgers game? Was sort of a continuation of you guys were playing flat a little bit from the couple games in a row. Just how did you fight against that? Um, we began in preparation, you know. Um, we really prepared well for this game. Um, we just, like, being aggressive in practice and, you know, challenging each, each other and just pushing each other, you know, not just walking through and, like, you know, just being mentally sharp and being physically, like, active, you know, and it showed today, you know, that, that's the way we got to prepare every day, you know, because teams are really tough in the Big Ten. You can't win just by shooting the basketball and playing offense, and you got to win on the defensive end. So just keep preparing the same way we did. You guys have been around each other for a long time. What is it about kind of building this thing up with each other that allowed you to respond? I mean, Coach really challenged. You guys, how did you? What allowed you to respond to that? Um, our, our bond, I would say. Um, you know, when, when I came here, like, like Trent keeps reminding me, yo, he he came from when this program was losing. He's been here for that long, you know. And you know, to be able to be a part of, you know, helping him, like we we share this program and bring it back to winning. Um, it's really important for me to continue doing that while he's here, you know, because that's my guy. And like, like I said, he worked really hard. You know, he's been through the worst, you know. And like to see him and Monte and those dudes come out come out of it, and now we're really successful. It just drives us to be to be more like active and be more like you know you don't want more so my team has definitely motivated me did you know that shot was going in when he took it i definitely i believed in it you know Trent, he, he he's built for moments like this man and he's showing it over and over again you know i keep telling him that whenever he gets on his heat does he got, just got to be confident and knock a shot down you know so you know, whenever he threw it up I, in my mind it was going in you know so you take that shot 10 out of 10 times um, you can look like you were hunting georgia afterwards yeah, yeah that's I love Georgia, man. Um, Georgia been my roommate, you know, um, before he left. And me and Georgia, we built a really bond, um, great bond, you know. It's, you, if, you, if you know, you know, you know. Like, his energy is really great, you know. I like him because, you know, he's, he's somebody I can relate to. He's an international guy, um, you know, and he's been through some stuff, you know. So we always share those moments and share those, um, those, um, share those like, stories and stuff. And, you know, it's been fun being around. Seems like Georgie sitting behind the bench was the same as Georgie on the bench, just flexing, screaming out let's go. Did you hear him? Like, yeah, I definitely heard him, man. That's what he does, man. Every time, you know, that's just his energy. You know, he brings that great, you know, that great vibe. You know, whenever he's like, he's a really good competitor. You know, he always wants like his guys to win. You know, so. He brings that energy every time. Kofi, the team kind of got back to hitting the offensive glass pretty hard in this one. Ed. Was that was that a point of emphasis coming into the game? Definitely a huge point of emphasis. Um, you know, we started the year um, number one in the offensive glass, and we kind of like slipped a little bit. Um, you know, so now we're just getting back to what we do best. You know, um, like you said, um, my guards they opened up a lot for me, and if they could continue opening up um, opening up space for me, and we still attack the offensive glass the way we did, we're going to be really successful. When was the first time you heard about Pizza Hut parking lots and coaches' experience no, I've been, there? I've been hearing that since freshman year, man. <laughs> uh, that's what we do. You know, we go in the Pizza Hut parking lot, we put a fist up, you know, and we find our way out. Before you got here, did you know that Pizza Hut parking lots were the, the tough place? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Coach has to introduce that one to me. About it, two minutes left, Coach. Attention of the foul and Kofi. Was there a calm effect that they pulled to? Always kind of going nuts. It felt like you got you took a real big deep breath after that second. Coach called me. Coach called me a coward. He called me out the other day. He said, you know, like I can't step up on the line. You know, after I, I, I practice on my free throws a lot, and I make 89 out of 100 in practice. You know, so he basically called me out. He said I'm a coward for not being mentally tough enough to go there and knock it down. And then today I stood the challenge. I'm like, you know what, Coach? I'm gonna show you I'm not a coward. Like I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna focus up. And I'm going to make the shot. Seems like you guys are 
called out by your coach and responding versus, you know, sometimes when you get maybe a little fed up with hearing about it? You know what, man? I love it, man. You know, he knows I love it, so he keeps... Uh -huh. He keeps doing it. He keeps getting on me any way he can. Like that man, will, I would get, I would have twenty and ten, and he would get on me. Yo, why did you have twenty five and fifteen? Like he, he's never satisfied with me. He keeps pushing me, you know. And I like, I love that energy. You know, I love that. That that makes me you know that you care about me. You want me to be great. Did you guys take that a little personal? I mean, he's called you out before, but like, yeah, we always take it personal. Thing? Yeah, we definitely, we always take it personal. Um, we we always try to prove you wrong, you know. Um, even if you were a coach, you know, we always try to prove you that yo. We could do whatever you say we can't do, and we could do whatever you think. We, we, we do whatever it takes to win, you know, and we, we all step up. Trent, Trent gets called out, everybody gets called out, and we always step up. Down the stretch, how important is that mindset? You guys have seemed to play well when you're, you know, hunting this season. Yeah, that's been another emphasis on, you know, closing out games. Um, you know, we really take great importance in that because in the big turn, like, you know, um, a lot of games are decided two or less possessions, you know. So it's all about being mentally sharp in those last two minutes and closing out the game the right way to get a W. What is it about having something as simple as Pizza Hut? Like, I assume if the coach says that, you guys obviously know what he means. But how important is it to have something so simple that it clearly it means a lot in the, in the building? That's really important, man, because now you don't have to do too much. You don't have to go through everything that happened before. Now you just you just say that one word, and you know, it's like a trigger. Like, you know, it's like, like you got your, you, like you got a dog, and you say, yo, you give him a command. Like, you, once you hear that, it's like, it's just instinct. You know, it just takes over. Like, oh, yeah, peace up. Let's get it. Like, you know, so it's really great having that, you know, this one word that gets us going right away. Cookie Trent, 12 points in the second half, all of his points. So what's it mean to get that kind of boost in that last shot? Yeah, man, it, it still comes off, you know, just stepping up and, you know, like, you know, just having a pair, you know, it's like, He's been through a lot, you know. He's been here for five, for five years now, and he knows what it takes. You know, he has great confidence in himself, and I have confidence in him to go in there, and, you know, take those shots, even, even after missing them, you know. And it's hoping, and, and it's not hoping, but like it's knowing that you're capable of making a shot. Is it late enough in the year that you guys are you know, getting on a on a bus, or whatever, and saying, okay, Purdue did this, Wisconsin did this, you know, this team did that, or, or are you? you Constantly aware of where you are and position to win, win the league. Yeah, we are. Yeah, you know, coach does a really good job of you know um, letting us know. Yo, you're in first place. You're fighting for something. Like just basically reiterating everything. You know, making us remember that yo, we're playing for something great right here. You know, so we always know where we stand.